Hey everybody, welcome. This is Tabitha Jane. Thank you for joining me. This is an energy update or energy reading for December 3rd. And I started off by pulling this card on TikTok. It is a Jaguar. And this is from the Mystical Shaman Oracle deck. I love this deck. But the messages are super, super deep. So, the Jaguar calls you to explore beyond the walls that confine you, to go outside of your normal routine, to push your limits and boundaries. She is deliver delivering an invitation from your own future to investigate the unknown, to venture into the mystery and the dark places you have been reluctant to explore. What in your life needs to be released? What have you carried around with you far too long, which is ready to be let go of once and for all? The Jaguar medicine is available to heal the fear so you can allow it to go. It's time to come out of the shadows and end the shadow games that you may have unconsciously agreed to play. Call on Jaguar to unfetter you from toxic relationships and recover your natural instinct for the right people in situations. That's kind of a big message. You know, I talk a lot about healing, releasing past pains, um, forgiving, but not forgetting. And it's so ironic that I feel like the Jaguar card is a very deep message for those of you on this day or whenever you find this video because these, this is timeless, truth be told. Something in the past needs to be released and let go of because there's something out there waiting for you to step into to explore. But you can't move forward until you release yourself from the tethers of the past. What is it? This is rhetorical. I mean, you're welcome. I always love your comments, okay? Whatever you want to share. What is it for you that is keeping you in a place in a space that is limiting you, something's calling you. If you're watching this video, something's calling to you. Why aren't you going towards it? Why aren't you trying? I'm a Gemini. And I have a tendency to jump in with both feet first. And I'll be honest with you, it hasn't always worked out well. But, I learned. I learned from the experience. I've had some really great experiences and I've had some really not so great experiences. But if you don't try, you never know. But what I've learned in the last couple of years through my own healing journey and releasing, forgiving, not forgetting, is I can, how do I say this, tip the toe in the water I don't have to go both feet first <laughs> and sink or swim. I can allow myself that luxury and that gift to try things. Well, this YouTube channel. I just started t TikTok. I don't even know what the hell I'm doing over there, but I'm doing it. And I trust and believe I'll figure it out. If we don't try things, we don't know. And I feel like that's what the Jaguar is about. What is it that you want to try? What's been calling to you? Is there a way? 
you can somehow figure out how to test the waters to explore, experiment. You know, so funny, it just reminded me because um, at work, we're trying to transition into e-commerce. So my days have been really long. They've been great, don't get me wrong. Oh my God, this girl is in hog heaven programming and writing each HTML code and you know, like, oh my God. I am doing all the things that just my heart's desire sings for. But it's testing. Because until you test, you don't know what works. So tipping our toes in the water, we're, we're dipping over here, we're dipping over there, you know, kind of just seeing, seeing what is going to get results. And that's one of the things I was telling, talking to my boss about today is like, well, this is all testing ground because until we try, we don't know. But when you're going e-commerce, social media, things like that, there are no hard, fast, steady rules. Just really try. See what works. Keep doing what works. What doesn't work, revamp. And it, it is trial and error. What in your life? I don't know why I'm sharing this. What in your life can you take the approach of trial and error, releasing and letting go of, not being bound to an outcome so that you can have an experience. I was going to pull tarot. I was going to pull other cards. I will actually know. The ancestor cards are really calling to me and ancestor guidance. I was going to pull some tarot. Let's see. But like, I feel like that's one of the reasons. I love this oracle deck, the mystical shaman. But every time I pull those cards, they are so deep. I receive so much information. And I'm trying not to... <laughs> I'm trying to not talk your ears off. Ancestors, messages, any, any additional guidance you would like to share for those watching regarding releasing and letting go, tipping their toes in the water, having an experience, trying, just trying something different, improving their life, messages, ancestors, messages, please. High Priestess. Harness mystical powers. Trust your higher self. Trust that guidance. Trust that intuition. Trust and believe. Whatever is calling, whatever is niggling, whatever is like, there's an itch that you just can't scratch. I know, got those myself. Why I'm doing TikTok. You know, I didn't want to do TikTok. I have put that off months. I listened to Gary V, Gary Vanderchuk, if you listen to him at all. And he is just like, if you want a presence and if you want a ground build, you've got to be on TikTok. And I really respect and admire Gary V, but he didn't want to do TikTok. I don't understand it. And guess what? Last night I did. And I flubbed. Oh, well. <laughs> but the thing of it is, is tip the toe in the water and test the, test the waters. Try it. See what happens. You don't know. Something's calling you. Itch. You cannot scratch. Scratch 
scratch your itch. Spring. See your so see your seeds grow. Scratch your itch. Plant your seeds now. By spring, you will see. You will reap the rewards of the efforts you do now. One more ancestors. Any more insight? This is just going to be an oracle reading. This isn't going to go into tarot. Any other messages, ancestors? I like it. I don't know about you. I really like it. Stepping out, taking ownership. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. The other thing. When I was reading about the Jaguar, I don't know why this popped into my head, and I don't want to do it disservice. The Jaguar is the top of the food chain and never becomes prey. She moves grace gracefully through the jungle, relishing the abundance of the rainforest, fearless and at ease. The jaguar knows the ways beyond death and is master of the shadows, blending invisibly between light and dark, night and day. I don't know why, that just suddenly like... Whatever this is. Whatever is calling you. Plant your seeds now. Trust and believe. Tip your toes in the water. Be smart about it. Don't be stupid. But start tipping your toes. What is it? What's calling you? What do you need to release that has been holding you? I don't know why. Oh. 12, 3. So if you go into numerology, 1 and a 2 makes a 3. 0, 3 is a 3. 3 is about change. It's a day of change. Of transition. And 2020 is, which is a 0202, which is a 4, with a double zero, is building strong foundations of stability powered by higher guidance, whatever that higher guidance is for you. It's pretty damn good, isn't it? <laughs> okay, uh, ancestors, any other information you would like to share? I'm trying not to make these videos so, so long. What is this? One more. <laughs> Medicine Guardian. Be open to healing information. So whatever it is that might have been keeping you feeling stuck down, um, contained, restricted, whatever that is, messages are going to be coming through to you to heal you, to guide you intuitive messages I went through this years ago and um, you know uh, other people call them synchronicities where it's like all of a sudden you know you kind of go down a rabbit's trail one thing leads to another leads to another leads to another and 
it's like your mind is getting blown after each and every thing. It's like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. I couldn't learn, absorb, integrate the information fast enough. These messages are trying to come through to you. Greater things. You're being called plant your seeds. Because by spring, you're going to see the sprouts, the beginnings, the fruitfulness. Under the deck, subconscious. Guardian angel. Your ancestors want you to know you are not alone. You are not alone. They are there for you. They are cheering for you. They are supporting you. They are trying to feed you. It is up to you to receive. They they want. Oh wait wait wait. Kind of interesting. I just noticed on the high priestess card connecting with your higher self. Your mystic power that higher level of energy and then the jaguar did you guys notice two black cats I didn't notice until just now and both black cats are facing the same direction oh there's something really important and my whole head's tickling I don't know who needs to hear this or what, but there's something really relevant about black cats. Your high priestess, your inner ability to connect with your higher self is asking you, to release and let go of what doesn't serve you and to be bold and brave and step into your power tip your toe into the water try what you haven't tried or you've tried before but now it's time to try it again times have changed things are changing dramatically all right well that's all I've got for y'all for December 3rd. If you've come with me this far, thank you. Um, if you would like to support the channel, please consider giving a thumbs up. Um, I love your, I love, 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 love to hear your thoughts and your feedback. And if you really want to help boost the channel, it doesn't cost you anything, subscribe. It doesn't cost you anything. And it helps me share these messages with others who also might benefit. Alright guys, I really truly hope you have an amazing day. Sorry I got long-winded. I can't help it. Like with spirits talking through me, there's just so much. I can't. I can't. This is why we didn't even pull tarot today. I can't. Alright. Um, I will see you guys tomorrow. Love and light. I gotta turn my head to shut this down. But uh, I hope you guys have a great, fabulous day. And I will talk to you later. Bye.